Oh, never mind. Now it's recording. And I did it too late anyway. What? A minute. Or actually half a minute. Whatever. Welcome everybody to Talking Xbox, uh, complete with technical problems, but that's okay. We'll get over them. Uh, this week's very, uh, is a very slow week, but we still have some Xbox One stuff. We have some nostalgia, and we actually have some new releases which are interesting to talk about. Um, <coughs> first things first, uh, I'd like to welcome Axel from L.A. if he's watching. I know that Daryl from L.A. in New Jersey is watching, so I hope you're watching now on the live stream and other people like Jason in Queens. So if you'd like to call in, the number is 212-245-7273. I'll have the graphic up in a second. Uh, just uh, let us know if you want to call in. Um, I have some clips. Um, like I said, there's nothing really new going on, but we do have a new game on Xbox Live Arcade, Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. And um, this is weird. There we go. Nope, that's not it. There we go. Okay. Perfect. As you can see, it's August 8th up there, and you can call on down there, 212-245-7273. So, <laughs> oh, everything is just so much more complicated than it used to be, but that's all right. Anyway, um, we actually had uh, some Xbox One news that's actually news. Well, I don't know. It's depending on your con on what you consider news. The camera's up there, not down here. Uh, um for one thing, um, Microsoft released three little uh, teasers about three of the peripherals, the wireless controller, the, the um, plug and play, and uh, the headset. So you get to see um, all those in action. And then Major Nelson has an unboxing of the Xbox One, and you know how thrilled he gets over getting the box that the Xbox One's going to come in, and how it's going to be packaged, and slowly unboxing it, and smelling the fresh plastic. Um, so we're tonight. Today's uh, episode. This, today's episode is going to be kind of light, but you're going to be seeing probably seeing this next week as well. Again, if you want to call in 212-245-7273. I used to have the other number memorized. I, I have to keep learning it, you know. So anyway, uh, here is the. Uh, I can't really call it a trailer. This is for the Xbox wireless controller. Check it out. And, uh, just okay, thank you. S and just so you know, uh, the Xbox controller is going to cost the same amount as the Xbox 360 controller, and that's $59.99. Although I think in certain stores they've lowered it to $54.99, but it's the same thing. It's, a wi it's the same cost as the wireless controller. So, uh, that's the wireless controller, and uh, a lot of people are talking about, I think everybody is concerned about the D-pad. I am as well. As for the analog sticks, I hope they're responsive, that when you push forward, they give back to the middle. You know, that's what I loved about the 2600 controller. That thing, if you push it up, it just snapped back to the center. You need that in a, in a controller. 
Uh, now, here the other thing I must say is that I've never really uh, trusted wireless controllers. I've always had wired controllers because I, I trust them. I hope they have... I don't even know if they can have wired controllers. Uh, if they have a wired... They have the if they have a port for the uh, for the controller, if they don't, well then you're shit out of luck. But I hope they have wired controllers because that's my personal preference there. Anyway, here's the plug and play kit since you can't have a wireless controller without being able to plug and play. Xbox swoosh. Um, now, <clears throat> LEDs is one of the things about the uh, new controllers that, that are coming up. and you know, It may seem like a little, but it's nice to see the LED controller showing that it's charging. And the camera is so up there today, which is good. I like the ca camera. I just wish it was on my good side there. But unfortunately, the way this office, office, the studio is configured, I can't have it on my good side. But I prefer, you know, it's fine, so long as it's up there and looking down on me. Uh, finally, <laughs> finally, we have the chat headset, which separately is going to cost uh, twenty-five dollars. So, um, here's the chat headset, and um, someone said, well, "Well, we'll show the video, then we'll we'll make the commentary about it." just happened here. Thank you. Okay. So if you noticed, um, the there's actually an LED that lights up when you have so, when you're muted, which I think is a nice little thing because sometimes you forget that you're muted and you keep on barking out orders and you say, "Oh, I'm muted." So now you can actually see from the uh, bar there that you're muted. So um, we're gonna post the uh, we're gonna show the uh, unboxing video in a moment. Um, so those are the three control uh, three peripherals. And I actually did pre-order a day one Xbox One, and I'm wondering how that's going to be different. I know there's going to be a different skin on the on the thing, but I'm hoping I get an extra controller or something like that. We'll see. Uh, so after that, we have the always excited Larry Herb uh, or Herb, otherwise known as Major Nelson, and he's going to excitedly unbox the Xbox One for us. And again, I like the packaging. It's a sleek black package, just like the Xbox One. Um, so, without further ado, here's Larry Herb, and he's going to unbox this thing for us. Hi, it's Larry Herb, Xbox Live's Major Nelson. Here it is, the moment you've been waiting for, unboxing of Xbox One. Let's see what's in the box. So this is what it looks like. It's gorgeous. Turn it around here. You can see everything that's in the box. Nah, I'm not going to show you there. We're going to break into this bad boy right now. First thing you notice right up top is we have the Kinect sensor. Here's this uh, beautiful little sensor. I'm going to pop that down here. Mm. Let's see that right there. Talk about each one of these items in a minute. Next up we have, of course, headset. Ooh, it's going to be beautiful. Following that, the controller itself. Put that here. Next up we have a 4K rated HDMI cable. Some paperwork, including the manual. Xbox One sticker. Over here we have the uh, the power cord. Here's the power brick. And then underneath we have the beautiful console all wrapped up waiting for you to take a look at it. Are you ready? Take a look at this. All right, I have everything laid out here on the table. Let's go through each item one by one. First up, we have some paperwork here, including your owner's manual, as well as a little sticker. And if you were lucky enough to get your hands on a day one edition, 
this is where you'll find your code for your digital exclusive. Now over here we have the Xbox One console, liquid black, beautiful. You can see right on the front here, it's a slot loading Blu-ray drive. Let me spin it around on the side here. Uh, you can see you've got a super speed USB 3.0 port as well as a uh, binding button to get your controller set up. And then on the back, we have the ports. From left to right, we have the power port. We have the HDMI output to your television, followed by the SPDIF or optical audio out. Then we have HDMI in, which is uh, from your satellite or cable box. Next to that, we have two USB 3 super speed ports. Next to that is Connect. Now, Connect is an IR blaster, so you can use that, or if your system requires it, you can use an IR out port, and that's this guy right here. Next to that is a gigabit Ethernet port, followed by a Kensington security lock. And inside, we have a 500 gigabyte hard drive, an 8 core x86 processor, and wireless networking connectivity all on board. Next up, we have an HDMI cable. Now, this is a 4K capable HDMI cable that we're including in the box. Also, we have, of course, the power supply. Next, we have the Xbox One controller with over 40 improvements. We have a newly designed D-pad. We have impulse triggers on the back here, which are going to change the way you game. And then, of course, you can see this is the special Day One edition, which has a little logo there and a chrome D-pad. Hot! Next, we have the Kinect sensor, which has improved gesture and voice control, a greater field of view, so it will work in almost any room, and 1080p video for Skype. And both the day one and standard editions of the console include this mono chat headset, improved comfort, inline audio controls, and improved audio quality for in-game chat. One more thing I haven't shown you, the on-off switch. We've done something pretty cool here. I'll see you Gamescom. Okay, so that was the unboxing, and <clears throat> one of the things that he did mention, hey, guess what? The headset, there's a headset included with the Xbox One. That's the big news. So, when you get the Xbox One, you do get a headset. Before, there wasn't going to be one, and also, I got my answer about what's going to be different about the Day One. Oh, look, it has a little printed edition, the Day One. I do like the fact that it has a Chrome D-pad, but, okay. So, um... That's the day one Xbox One. And uh, so that, that's what's coming up. Now, we go from the future to the present, and um, there, the Summer of Arcade has begun. Uh, but before I go into that, uh, how about if you want to give me a call? Oh, wrong way. This way. Er, no, okay. 212-245-7273. If you want to call in. You can call in from anywhere in the world, obviously. But if you're in New York, you're probably watching this on TV. If you're watching on live stream... You're watching this a few seconds late. Uh, okay. So, um, this next game was uh, developed by a Swedish filmmaker. I forgot his name. <laughs> but it was in collaboration with Starbreeze. Now, it's not an Xbox 360 exclusive. It's being released first on the Xbox 360 on Xbox Live Arcade. It's coming out on PC on August 28th and on PSN on September 3rd. So, um, this is the launch trailer for Brothers... A Tale of Two Sons. Okay, so as you can see, it's a third-party action game. So it, it, it's gotten a lot of high praise, and, and obviously in Sweden, it's already getting great reviews. 
So that is uh, this week's Xbox Live Arcade game. So, um, we also had some interesting uh, gameplay reveals. Um, actually, before we do that, um, I uploaded this video for Batman Arkham Origins, and I wasn't here last week because we were taking some time off. But I am really geeked for Batman Arkham Origins right now, and uh, this trailer will really um, <laughs> surprise you. Now, Batman Arkham Origins is, is uh, a prequel to Batman Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. So here is uh, an introduction of one of the assassins that's going to be in uh, Arkham, uh, Arkham Origins. Bosses got the biggest assassins there is. Here in Gotham. All on the same night and all going after the same guy. He mad as hell. Wants the bat deader than dead. I ain't never seen black masks like this. I don't care who does it. I don't care how they do it. I just want the bat dead. There's a face I don't recognize. A copperhead. Strange. These reports reference a male, not a female. Fourteen escapes, huh? Well, you won't forget now. What the... By my count, there are still nine more ribs I can break. <laughs> Copperhead. What did you do to me? That is the uh, new female version of Copperhead, who's one of the assassins, and is oddly disturbing and sexy at the same time, of course. <laughs> so uh, I'm really getting excited over Batman Arkham Origins. I didn't think I would be when it was first announced. Um, now, for all you shooter fans, uh, this is not a. This is sort of like a week old, but it hasn't really been circulated. Um, <clears throat> Uh, Electronic Arts leaked out a gameplay video of Battlefield 4, which I'm going to show, but this is going to take a while. So if you want to call in, 212 245 7273, here is some Batman, I mean, Batman, Battlefield 4 multiplayer. Objective has been oh, and that's a mistake, folks. That's much better. Internet, this is multiplayer gameplay, not single player gameplay, so. I don't think you're forced into having a third person view either. Yep, there you go. First person gameplay.
And that was a sampling of uh, Battlefield 4. Now, I'm going to be closing the show with one of my personal favorite games. It's from the Xbox and is playable on the Xbox 360. It's backwards compatible. Um, and uh, before I go, uh, if you want to call in before I play this video, because this is going to be the last thing I'm going to play today, uh, you can call in at 212-245-7273. If not, well, you know, you can always, in two weeks, since I'm going to be popping in a tape for next week, so that um, if this is uh, August 15th, then, you know, I, that's what I did. But this is a live show on August 8th, August 15th. I'm probably going to pop this back in as a rerun to get to, uh, to take a break. This is um, one of my favorite games, and without further ado, here is Psychonauts. The human mind. 600 miles of synaptic fiber, five and a half ounces of cranial fluid, hmm? 1,500 grams of complex neural matter, oh, it's a three-pound pile of dreams. But I'll tell you what it really is. It is the ultimate battlefield and the ultimate weapon. The wars of this modern age, the psychic age, are all fought somewhere between these damp, curvaceous undulations. From this day forward, you are all psychic soldiers, paranormal paratroopers, Mental Marines who are about to ship out on the adventure of their lives. This is our beachhead. And this is your landing craft. You shall engage the enemy in his own mentality. You shall chase his dreams. You shall fight his demons. You shall live his nightmares. And those of you who fight well, you will find yourselves on the path to becoming international secret agents. In other words, psychonauts! The rest of you will die! <laughs> oh, Maury. Children, you are not going to die. Well, if you're not a psychonaut, then you might as well be dead. They told me this was a summer camp. Ah, <laughs> oh, Dogen. Don't worry about old Coach Oleander. I've been coming here for years, and trust me, nothing ever happens. Yeah, Dogen, Lily's right. You don't got nothing to worry about. Except for that giant monster in the lake I was telling you about. Bobby Zilch! I told you to stop scaring people with that ridiculous old legend. I don't want the kids to be afraid to go out at night and walk alone on the perfectly safe paths of Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp. And we don't want to scare our special guests, Superstar Psychonauts Sasha Nine and Mia Vodello. Whoa! Light Monster! Formation! <laughs> Resisting. Quick, bring it over here. What is it? It's just a little boy. What's your name, darling? I'll find out. Kid, get in. Ugh. My name. Starts with a D. Is Rasputin. Mm. But everybody calls me Raz. Please don't kill us, Lake Monster! Compelling. Armored like a tank! Sorry I'm late. I don't want to disrupt your briefing, Agent Oleander. Agents 9, Vodello, please, continue. Where do you think you're going? You've broken into a highly classified remote government trading facility. I know. Isn't it great? Listen, why don't I just sit over here quietly with my fellow psychedets? Hey, how's it going? I like your hat. We need to have this young man taken from here immediately. I'll call his parents. 
What? But don't you train psychonauts here? Yes, darling, but... To soar across the astral plane. To wage psychic warfare against the enemies of free thought. That is what I wrote on the front of the pamphlet. Those words are why I'm here, Coach Oleander. Do you remember what you wrote on the inside of that pamphlet? You were born with a special gift. But the people around you treat it like a curse. Your mother is afraid of you. And your father looks at you with shame in his eyes. Come to Whispering Rock Psychic Summer Camp and you can show them all. Back home, your powers make you a loner, an outcast, a circus freak. But in this dojo, in this psychic dojo, they make you a hero. Get that soldier a bunk! Now, darling, you can stay here for a few days until your parents come for you, but we can't let you participate in any paranormal training without your parents' consent. I'm sorry. Wowie, you're so lucky. You get to go home soon. Home? Back there, I was just like you were, Dogen. Punished by my own family for having powers I never asked for. But here, I have a chance to be something, to make a difference. They may come for me, Dogen, but they'll be looking for Raz, the boy. What they're going to find, what they don't expect, is Raz, the Psychonaut. And, and, and then you'll make their heads explode? No. Do you do that? No. Well, once kinda, but... Now I wear this special hat. Want to try it on? No, no, no. But he has mental defenses like I've never seen in someone so young. If I could just get him in my lab for some experiments, I'm sure he could withstand more than the others. That kid's one in a million, Nine. But I'm not gonna let you turn him into one of your guinea pigs. I've got big plans for that mind. <laughs>